Nothing better than pregame festivities for the World Series. Game three is coming up next. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the New York Mets taking on the New York Yankees. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. Well, when a team starts a series on the road and comes away with a split in the first two games, they've essentially taken over home field advantage. So the last thing these guys want to do now is give it right back by dropping this one. And these fans know that just as much as the players. And the atmosphere here is electric. And this figures to be about as intense as postseason baseball gets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And taking the ball for the Yankees, Nestor Cortez Jr. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Last time out, wasn't able to get out of the second inning. Really put a lot of pressure on the bullpen, but the offense picked him off. I'm looking for him to hit the reset button and get after it in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Leading off for the net, the center fielder, Brandon. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and we're underway in game three. First pitch, 7 6 The lefty, the 1 0. Fouled off to the right. The pitch. On the ground at first. And he takes it himself for the out. Not exactly. Here's a Mets lineup now. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. And in one hops the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Here's Francisco Lindor. Bader makes the play. And yeah, there's two away. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And first offering is fouled off. Marte at second with two down. Next one is off the play. One ball, one strike. All well, these guys were shut out in the previous game, and I'm really interested to see what did they talk about in that hitters meeting that's going to translate into the game and help them be able to get on the scoreboard. Next offering is fouled back. And on second, two down. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Mets leave one. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Back after this on the show. 
back at Yankee Stadium and on the hill the big righty Jacob DeGrom. How about a scouting report on him? Yeah, Bogey put on a clinic his last time out. Strikeouts just seemed like every other hitter was walking back to the dugout. We'll see if that's the case again Lead in this one. Back the in the Bronx and no stepping in for the Yankees, Andrew, Andrew. Benintendi. Benintendi. In the air, right side. And there's one away. Batting second. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. Big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts. Yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're not going to get very many pitches to hit in an at-bat, maybe even in a game. So you've got to be ready, zoned in in the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over it. Might be the first pitch in the at-bat, so you better walk up there ready from the jump. If they can make early, consistent contact. I think they'll have a much better shot against it. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Next offering is foul back. The wind of the pitch. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two gone now. Two outs, base is empty. And the here is three. Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. In Rizzo. there for strike one. And the righty deals. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and he held back according to Ricky Holiday. Swings and misses, and that is that. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Scoreless after one. Back in the Bronx, here's Mark Canna. Leading off for the net, the left fielder. Cortez back to work. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. And now the lefty. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, had a home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Pulls that one foul. Next pitch, not close, up high. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the pitch stays alive. And the pitch tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. So a substitution needed at first because of the injury. Entering is the pinch runner, Tyler Naquin. And next is the designated hitter, Darren Ruff. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Darren. First offering Ruff. misses the mark.
Swings through that one for strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The one two. That one drilled left field. That's back. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. Escobar. In the air, out towards right center. Bader turns, moving to his left. Long run, tracks it down. Both runners tagging from second and third. To the plate, save! And it's 1-0. Well, it's a nice job right there. It's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first. Just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And the first offering is not close. Ruff stands at third with one gone in the inning. The next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. The pitch. And a bunt right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. And a pitch. Bunting gets it down to first. Throw on to Rizzo. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Well, the safety squeeze can be tough to defend, especially with a good runner at third. You can't risk trying to be overly aggressive and make a play at the plate and give up that easy out at first. Two outs, base is empty. James McCann in now. First pitch, not close. And here it comes. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. One one to McCann. Nope. Off the mark there. And now three and one. Bounced up the middle. LeMayhew gets it to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Tyler Naquin. He's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. Bottom of the second. In now is the Yankees DH. Giancarlo Stanton. The, the right hater back to work. Giancarlo. That's through there for a strike. Nowadays with advanced metrics and aggressive defensive shifting defense isn't necessarily just about making errors are you able to get to balls are you able to fill spots where guys hit the ball and down on strikes and that's the first out just blown away in that at bat three fastballs all strikes he wasn't that even able fit. to foul one off the there's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other not than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes got to have better timing on the fastball next time bounce to the right he handles it himself already two out here in the home half of inning number two that is it now it's LeMayhew you up to him and that's in there for strike one Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. 
Naquin makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back for more from the Bronx. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the Mets' leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon. The line to kick the pitch. And that one wrapped foul. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Left hand hitter waits. Got him. One out. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, and they have this new ballpark that is absolutely gorgeous, but there's still some of that old school feel to it. That one ripped, but foul. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, you have to connect the past with the present, and they did a really nice job of the Monument Park out there where you can go and walk through and see the legends. This is New York. It is the greatest city, I would say, in the country, if not the world. So you expect them to build a ballpark that's going to be incredibly rich in that tradition. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously they're starting with this already and next for the Mets Francisco Lindor a switch hitter batting right checks over to first back safely what about as a left handed hitter and how short that porch is in right field were you ever tempted to just try and think in terms of leaning on something as a left handed hitter and just trying to yank it over the right field wall. I don't think I needed to be tempted to do that. I think that's all I was you know, trying to do because I didn't have a whole lot of power back to first and again he's back safely. You have to try to stay within your approach but you do know that hey if you pull something there's a good chance of it getting out. And yeah, he swings and misses and it's nothing in one. Here comes a pitch. Lined into right and a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter. Pete Alonso went down on strikes his first time through. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And out of here. Pete Alonso takes it deep. And they tack on three. It's five zip. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. One out, base is empty. Tyler Naquin to the plate. That came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. That one's in there 0 and 1. One thing for me over the years, watching how right handed hitters have tailored and changed their swing so that they could take advantage of the dimensions in right. One down, base is empty. In the dirt, now one and two. Look at Derek Cheater. He's a classic example of someone that wasn't looking to pull the ball, but he could hit some home runs to right field, so was able to flex the muscles at times. But a lot of his 3,000-plus base hits were hit the opposite way in both the old ballpark and here in the newer Yankee Stadium. Tap softly third base side, a swinging bunt, and it goes just foul. 2-2 now. Foul 
Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is fouled back. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way. And gone. Tyler Naquin rounds the bases, and they add a run. It's six nothing. Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean. This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Nestor Cortez Jr. departs. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. So they turn to Lou Trevino. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to Number do. 56. And now the Mets DH, Darren Ruff. Trevino. Softly hit the third. Rolls across the diamond. Now two away. The batter. The third base. Two outs, base is empty. Eduardo Escobar will hit next. Puts a bunt down. Carpenter whips it to first on the run. Then they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, set for the bottom of the third, Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. That's in for a strike. Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. That takes care of Kiner Falefa, and there's one down. Batting it. The center fielder, Harrison. And now Bader up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swings through that. Well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. Swing and a ball popped up. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball and a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years but with all of the emphasis well we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning one left. back here in New York John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth Jeff McNeil the second baseman Jeff McNeil the right hander back to work to third Carpenter handles the chance Slings it across. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Here is James McCann.
And a foul ball. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. And he hits a ground ball right side. Gets it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right now, there. Man. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that Brandon. out. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. And first offering is fouled off. Ball one there. Ball to strike. And there's a foul ball. Stays alive. Two outs. And now the count is even. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the chain. Bottom of the fourth, here comes Aaron Judge. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Next pitch off the play, and the count is one and one. In the air, center field. Marte settles under this one, and he makes the catch. One away. Singy four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit. And that one hit to first. And he handles it himself for the out. So I went into the game, I happened to hit two. When I walked into the now store the next day and he That's looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, oh, oh, oh. aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. Stanton batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Next offering upstairs. Righty delivers. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's the third out. Inning over. So the. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Starling Marte. Leading off the net, the right fielder of the series, Starling Marte. The pitch. That to right, Judge is under it. And there's one down. Up next for the net. Francisco the Lindor down. comes up to the plate. Lindor. 
First offering and it just misses. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jonathan Loisica up and loosening in the pen. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Two up, two down. Now batting the first base. He's Alonzo. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Pete Alonzo. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Zips it across, and that takes care of Alonzo. And that'll do it. Down it. Back in New York, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Here Matt Four Carpenter. Slow the roller to baseman. first. Matt. He'll do it himself. Carpenter. One up, one down. Now back. Up to the second plate baseman. steps DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Right hander kicks deals. That one is upstairs. Fouls one off. Two and two. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the second out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Connor Falefa stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Down in order, go to Yankees. Still up against a six, nothing deficit. Back here at the ballpark, here's the left fielder, Tyler Naquin. Leading off to the net, the left fielder, number 25, Tyler Trevino. Back to work. And ball one. Movement in the Yankees' pen, Scott Efrots, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Licky warming up as well. The 1 0. Straighten him up a little bit. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. At the belt and fire. Here's a rocket out to left. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where now you man. have to remind yourself <laughs> it's about Darren. the process. He did everything right. right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. On a line out towards center. Bader racing over to make the catch. Now that third baseman. So up next, Eduardo Escobar. Escobar. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Right handed reliever. Way inside, gets out of the way. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And that's a foul ball. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. And the right hander deals. That one ripped. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Fires to second too late. 
And he's got a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Jeff McNeil stands in. And he grounds one to the right side. Sends it to first. And that will end the inning. Eight. Back at Yankee Stadium, bottom of the sixth inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Harrison Bader. Out towards right center field. And Bader is set down. One down. Here's Jose Trevino. Check swing, went around. Strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And the 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. No left fielder. Andrew. Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field, and just foul. Left hand batter waits. The other way. In plenty of time to first, and that is the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Scott Efros. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Here's the catcher, James McCann. In the air to left center. Benatendi on the move. Brings it in. And there's one down. The center fielder, number nine. So the lineup Brandon flips Nimmo. over. Brandon Nimmo digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Check swing, and he held up. The wind of the pitch. This one rip, but foul to the right. The pitch. And fouled off. Kicks and deals. Here's a high fly ball out to center. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Starling Marte up to him. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That one missed. Swing and a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. 
you want. They say you win. Efros checks the runner, and he's back standing. Marte off of first with two away. Deal two. He swings and fouls one off. Here's the 0 2. Stays alive. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the third out. Back at Yankee Stadium, it's Aaron Judge now. The line of the pitch. For the Yankees. And that's in for a strike. Pretty amazing. His first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. The 1-1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. And it really looks like these hitters have been in. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And it's gone. Closer. It's 6 1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of his ballpark. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Now that. First baseman, Anthony. In there, and it's 0 1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And a swing and a miss, one away. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Going to now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The punch out there, two out. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. The 1-1. One -one. Just oh, off the God. inside edge. And it's even up. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Two-two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That is the inning. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. And this is now. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Jonathan Loisica. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Here's Pete Alonso. Here comes a pitch. And there's a ball. In the air, left side. 
And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that takes care of Alonzo. One away. Now batting. Tyler Naquin now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Wandy Peralta, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. And the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Lifted in the air, out to left. Benintendi is there. Makes the grab, two down. Now batting, designated. Darren Ruff, Darren up now for the Mets. Ruff. Ground ball up the middle. LeMayhew is there. Fires over to first. That ends the frame. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets six and the Yankees one. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Tyler McGill. And he's got a nice lead to work with. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. It's a pitch. And that one clips the corner. Well, I say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the attack. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Isaiah Kiner Falefa getting ready to hit. In there for strike one. And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next offering misses. And a full count now. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Line drive. Pulls it in for the out. Up next for the game. So two down now, and here is Harrison Bader. Bader. And it's fouled away. And here it comes. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. And that extends the inning. The throw into second, and he'll pull into second safely. And here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. Hard hit left side. And foul ball. And he'll one. And a swing and a miss there. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Lucas Litke gets the ball now. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. And here is Eduardo Escobar. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And a pitch. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Next offering is down low, and that's ball three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at-bat turns out. Swing and a miss, and it's three and one. The pitch on the ground to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The batter number one. Here's the second baseman, Jeff yeah. McNeil. McNeil. And first offering is fouled off.
Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Line drive, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He was late there, strike one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. A little roller up along first. Off balance speed. There's one. Over to first, but he beats it. Well, that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on. So a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. Marte now in the box comes up empty with a swing there two outs in the dirt nothing happening as the count evens at one runners on first and third two away Licky keeping him close the lefty ready and a 1-1. A swing and a soft line. Connor Falefa makes the catch, and that'll do it. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, two up. It's the Mets six, and the Yankees one. Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound, and a healthy-sized lead for him to go to work with. Adam Adovino. It's been intending to start it off. And the pitch. Leading off. For the There's the strike. Very good pitch. Backed field. up a little bit, expecting it to go middle away, and that it just sort of here. stayed on the inside corner. Probably good take, because he would have gotten jammed had he swung the bat. 0-2 now. Just missed. That one lifted to left. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Up next to the Yankees, the right fielder, Aaron. Stepping in, Aaron Judge, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Whips it across, Judge out on the play. Up next to the Yankees, the first baseman, Anthony. Rizzo. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The 1-1. One, one. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Left-hand hitter waits. Stays alive. Down to their final strike. That's down and in. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at 1-1 one and one because you put yourself up Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. So, Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shami. We'll see you soon.